Hello gardening loves and welcome to my garden vlog number three of the gardening season so far. These tulips are looking outstanding. I actually was doubting they were going to come out red but you can see they are ready to burst into flaming red. How exciting. So let's have a look at what I've been up to this week. So here's a, another seedling update following a little bit of garden maintenance. So our zinnia is coming up beautifully. Lovely, lovely. Uh, more cosmos is coming up as well. That's looking really good. That's the cosmos that came up first a few days ago. So I just need to keep an eye on that. I'm trying to take the lid off in the day when I remember to stop it getting too leggy. I've moved these up just to give them some more light. I've moved my tomatoes, there's no sign. Um, it's not quite a week, so I'm being a bit impatient, but I've moved them right on the top level for sun and warmth. So see if that brings them on. Um, under here, we've got the lettuces coming up. So that's the cos lettuce and then the red. There's one germinating so far. Nothing else yet. So it's back on for the night. Um, nothing in there yet. The dahlias I put in. Yes, they are slug pellets and I apologise to everyone. I'm just waiting for my copper rings to arrive. I've run out of eggshells. I am doing something about converting over. So I know it's not right right now. But whilst they've got lovely, juicy little stems coming through, growth coming through, I've got to protect them. So my copper rings are on the way and there will be no more need for slug pellets again alongside my eggshells, which are protecting shoots coming up there for my peonies already and... Obviously you saw my other vlogs, I've used them in here as well for my sweet peas and things. So yeah, that's a little update from the greenhouse. The cobia is still looking good, putting some nice growth on. So I might pinch those out again. And that's it from the greenhouse at the moment. So we're looking good, still a few things to come up, still a few things, well, a lot of things to sow, uh, but we're getting there guys. It's uh, coming on beautifully and it's just started to be sunny after a bit of a rainstorm. I'm gonna go and enjoy the sunset in the garden before it gets too cold. Good night, guys. I bought some great bargain strawberry plants from a local nursery the other day, um, and they are looking lovely and lush and lots of growth. I've got a strawberry pot, but I'm debating whether to use a strawberry pot for herbs and then put the strawberries in a hanging basket um, just because they do so much better when they are free dangling, so i.e. not running along the soil, I find. So I'm just going to make my mind up about those, but at the moment I'm just getting them used to the ground and the area and they're looking really nice. Hello everybody, so this is another garden vlog update from me, Lottie. Hello. Um, I've just started weeding, as promised in the last couple of videos, my veg patch kitchen garden. So I've just done this little bit here. That's a parsnip I've left in by accident, but I'm actually going to let it go to seed and save the seed for next year. And this is what I'm dealing with. I've got some wild geranium, which does look very pretty. Uh, but it's taken over my veg patch and obviously I want to get a sowing now. We are in the second week of May, so I'm going to be pulling all these out. And what I'm doing is I've got a gap at the back here and I'm just chucking them in with the roots on a bit of compost. And what happened last year was some came up on their own that were already in and the others that I chucked in there came up. So I'm still going to have wildlife bit, wildflower bit there, which will have nettles in, these geraniums, wild geraniums, which look really pretty. Um, there was some sedge garlic in there as well, hedge garlic in there as well. I look really pretty in a couple of brambles that I leave in but I maintain so I'm working with it for the wildlife uh, but also to benefit my lovely veg and fruiting crops. Uh, so that's what I do with them rather than compost them and some take, some don't uh, but ultimately the ones that don't go back into the soil behind my little gap there 
um, and it was perfect because it means I haven't lost any growing space um, and ultimately it's more area for pollinators to go to which is great so I'm just working on that today um, move those old canes out from last year yeah see how far we go I probably won't get it all done today it's a really lovely day today it's nice and warm and sunny so I will be also enjoying the garden and I'm also reading a book at the moment by Eliz Zorab her new book which I'll talk about more a bit later in this vlog um, yeah, so that's, this is what I've done so far. This little section here, that section up there I did the other day, but I've just got some hostas and things that I bought last year in the sale that I'm bringing on. And they'll go in the garden at some point in the next couple of weeks. So slowly but steady, we're going through, but I'm hoping to clear up to this, where this window is. Excuse the mess, we're having building work done. Um, so up to here today, and then I can finish the rest off later this week. But at least it means this section, I'm gonna put on some mulch and compost uh, just on the surface to top it up a bit and get some more nutrients back into the soil um, and it means I can start sowing direct this week especially now the weather looks like it's going to definitely stay fairly warm at least above freezing anyway so that's the main thing so I'm going to crack on and get digging the rest Hello everybody, so this is just to finish off my vlog for today and it's actually finishing off with a little bit of a book review. Sorry, the sun is really making my face glow, but actually that's not a bad thing because I've got no makeup on right now, so it's hiding my blemishes a little bit. So I'll try and turn around a bit for you. So my book review is on The Season Gardener by Liz Sora. This is her new book, which you can now buy on Amazon and I'll also put other links down below and direct from her website as well. Um, fantastic book. I've got halfway through and I'm blown away so far. I haven't actually read Liz's first book, which is called Grounded. Um, but this one I'm really enjoying. So permaculture, permaculture lifestyle. And it's all about... Um, working the land, working with the land, growing your own uh, veg, cut flowers, but working with the wildlife surrounding you um, and working with the ground that you've got and the climate that you've got. So it's all about, yes, you can grow things. There's brilliant tips and ideas in here. I've got great tips for some beans that I wanna try and grow now for next year. That's going on my autumn list to buy. Um, it's such a nice book to read and the way that Liz has written it is, is just like having a little chit chat in the garden basically um, with a gardening friend um, giving away tips and tricks um, also you know trials and tribulations that they've had through the years of, of her growing her own food for her and her family um, and also growing their own flowers as well. Um, one part that really interests me is a food forest. Now I've heard this mentioned a few times this year actually at quite a few events that I've been to for gardening. Um, so a food forest basically you're creating a canopy and then you're also building up so from the ground up which sounds quite simplistic really but actually the way that you do it and the varieties that you use you fill it with nuts, burying plants, things that produce food from either their foliage. Um, and it just sounds such a lovely idea, a food forest. So I'd highly recommend getting her book because there's so many tips in there that range from things like a food forest to growing your own varieties that she's had really good success with, but also varieties that she hasn't. But also bearing in mind, she mentions a hell of a lot about thinking of your own space. So something that works for her might not necessarily work for you um, in your garden or the climate that you have or, or where you are. So it's all about embracing your own space, taking tips and information from other people and from Liz in this book here. Um, but whilst bearing in mind that once you've given it a go, you can start learning from your own patterns. So things don't happen overnight in gardening. The best way you can learn is over years of experience, which isn't... Oh, sorry, dog is on pigeon watch. <laughs> I've put seeds in today, so they are loving it. Um, he's doing his job very well. So yeah, it's all about learning over the years and picking varieties that work for you and taking tips from other people, but then making them your own, using your own experience. So it's fantastic. And I love also that she starts her book from the autumn season rather than the spring, because the autumn finishes actually a lot of the season with harvesting, um, gathering for the year, but then sort of autumn, we all start planning, don't we? We plan ahead seeds that we want to get for next year, perennials we want to get for next year, maybe perennials that we want to divide in the autumn to then create the gardens for the spring. So it makes a lot of sense that she's starting in the autumn 
and working her way through the seasons that way I find that incredibly fascinating um, and like I said I really did enjoy this book so thank you very much Liz and the team uh, for sending this across for me to read through I can't recommend it enough there we go if I get away you can see properly the full book and I'll put the links down below where you can buy her book from um, and do look on her YouTube channel because I, I love watching Liz's YouTube channel. So helpful, so many tips, um, things like what to sew on each month and, and jobs to do and permaculture and how it works. So do check her out on YouTube as well. Um, but highly recommend, really good read. It's easy reading. So I've been reading it out in the garden in the afternoons when it's a bit warm and I want to get away from my desk for sort of 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I might have done half an hour today away from my desk a bit more than I probably should have done um but it's it's lovely it's a really lovely book and very very knowledgeable filled with all sorts of tips and things so do give that a go that's my little review which was gifted to me this book um so it is a gifted ad but I do recommend it it's it's really nice read so thank you very much Liz and I wish you all the best. Now that is it for today's vlog and you've seen me in this one today. I don't normally show my face very often lately when I just do the gardening update uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit shorter than normal um, but the next vlog coming up will be me planting out some veggies and planting out some flowers as well so I filmed that today and that will go live in a few days time and also don't forget to subscribe because not only am I doing vlogs where you can have a nose and see what I'm up to week on week and month on month, I've also got videos on gardens that I visited, garden DIY, so give you some inspiration on how to plant things up and what to plant and when, um, and lots of other videos. I, I do also a really nice, even if I do say so myself, a garden tour vlog which is not me talking it's just pictures of whatever's looking good in my garden right now and you will hear the birds singing and the water running so if you want something a bit more serene and quiet then I recommend having a look at my little playlist on the garden vlog section so thank you so much for watching guys and bearing with me and like I said check out Liz's book it's well worth buying and it's something you can refer to once you've bought it you can refer to it every season um, along with other books of course if you've got other favorites but this is this is good this has got some nice interesting tips in there that i haven't seen anywhere else so well worth it thank you very much guys have a lovely evening or rest of the day depending on when you're watching this and i will see you all next time